Hey guys, this is Mr. Crayfish, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use my Furniture Mod API. So in the latest version of my Furniture Mod, I added this in, and what it allows you to do is, if you're a mod developer, um, it allows you to add your custom items so they can freeze in the freezer from my mod, or you can cook them in the oven. So that's really all it does, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do that. So the first thing that we need to do is download the API, so the link for the forum post is in the description. Just scroll down until you get to the download section, and then you, there'll be a little subsection here called API. Just go ahead and download the version for your Minecraft. So the one I'm using is 1.5.2, so we'll go ahead and download that. Once it's downloaded it, open it up with a program such as WinRAR, or there might be a default one on your Windows. Um, so just open it up, and there'll be two files in it. Well, to a file and a folder, one called README and a folder called com. What you want to do is drag this com folder here over into Eclipse and then drop it on this source folder um, below the Minecraft project. Now it will come up with a pop-up, just press OK, then yes to all. And there we go, we have imported it into the project and now we're actually going to code. So the first thing that you need to do is go into your mod class and we need to import the API. So simply just type import com dot mister crayfish dot furniture API dot asterisk semicolon. Now we've imported that. Now for this tutorial we're actually going to turn this item here into this block using the freezer and with the oven. So to do this we need to go down to our load class here and first we're going to turn the item into a block using the freezer so we need to go freezer recipes api dot instance dot add solidifying and then the first thing that we need to define for int i is the id of the item so we'll go this dot item test dot item id and now we want to turn it into the block so this is the result here so we need to go new item stack and then just type in this dot block test now well, there we go if we went into the game right now and we put item test into the freezer with the calling pack it would turn into um, block test. Now we're just going to go do this for the same for the oven. So simply oven recipes API dot instance dot add food to oven recipes. Now again we have just defined the ID. We actually might turn this back so we're going to go this dot block test dot block ID and we want the result to be the item so we're going to go this dot item test oopsie my bad new item stack and then inside the brackets put this dot item test and then oops there we go and we're done now that's all you need to do to add to now that's all you need to do to add your items to the freezer and the oven just simply call the class instance then go add solidifying then input the item ID then the result using a new item stack so that's all we need to do to add our custom items to the mod so if I simply go ahead and run um, Minecraft right now just create a world for this so here we go here's the oven and the freezer so if I go get out um, test block and test item if we go into the oven here and we stick test block in there I think that's one you'll see that it's cooking now and the result should be this test item and there we go test item now if we put test item here into the freezer put that on it's now freezing the test item and the result should be the test block and there we go so I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you did implement the Furniture API into your mod, please let me know because I am going to be creating a list of all the mods that do on my forum post and it's a good way for you guys for you guys to get exposure. Also something I would just like to say is that I actually do Furniture Mod updates so if you would like to see 
um, development videos of me creating my mod, uh, just showing all the new features that I have added in. Um, I'll put a link in the description for the latest video and if you want to see more of them, um, make sure you subscribe because I do them quite a lot. And that's really all I have to say. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Leave a like and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.